Resources can be categorized in various ways depending on their origin, exhaustibility, ownership, and development status. Here's a detailed classification. 1. On the basis of origin. Biotic resources. These are resources derived from living organisms. They include plants, animals, forests, and fossil fuels like coal and petroleum, which are formed from decayed organic matter. Abiotic resources. These are non-living resources, such as minerals, metals, water, air, and sunlight. Abiotic resources are not derived from living organisms. 2. On the basis of exhaustibility. Renewable resources. These resources can be replenished naturally over time. Examples include solar energy, wind energy, water, forests, and biomass. They are sustainable as long as they are used at a rate that allows for natural regeneration. Non-renewable resources. These resources are finite and cannot be replenished once they are exhausted. Examples include fossil fuels, coal, oil, natural gas, and minerals like gold, iron, and copper. They take millions of years to form, so their excessive use can lead to depletion. 3. On the basis of ownership. Individual resources. These are resources owned privately by individuals. Examples include personal land, houses, vehicles, and other personal property. Community resources. These resources are accessible to all members of a community. Examples include grazing lands, village ponds, public parks, and playgrounds. National resources. These are resources that belong to the nation. The government owns and controls these resources, including forests, wildlife, land, water bodies, and minerals within the national territory including the exclusive economic zone in the oceans. International resources. These are resources that are managed by international organizations and are beyond the national jurisdictions of any one country. Examples include the open oceans, the atmosphere, and resources in the polar regions and outer space. 4. On the basis of the status of development. Potential resources. These are resources that are found in a region but have not yet been utilized. For example, solar and wind energy in certain areas where the infrastructure for their use is not yet developed. Developed stock. These resources are surveyed, their quantity and quality determined, and are being used with current technology. Examples include the water stored in dams, the coal mined and used for energy, and the oil extracted and refined. Reserves. These are a subset of the developed stock, which can be used profitably with available technology but are kept in reserve for future use. Examples include certain deposits of coal, oil, and gas that are not being tapped currently but can be utilized in the future. 